Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I just wanted to share with you all the plants that I keep outside during the summertime. So a lot of plants will thrive if you keep them in an area that has bright and direct light. So as you can see, I just have a little umbrella that is um, above my plants protecting them from that really intense afternoon sun. So I'm just gonna take you around and show you some of the plants that I keep under this area. Um, so to start, this is my Hoya um, Hindu rope that's variegated and all the new growth happens at the bottom. As you can see, it's highly variegated at the bottom. It barely has any chlorophyll. The leaves will initially grow in this pink color and they fade to like a creamy white. It has done really well outside and I'm really hoping that it'll bloom at some point. This is my Hoya Pachaclata that's in bloom and I absolutely love the flowers. It's actually why I originally purchased this plant. The flowers are really chubby and they kind of look like little gummies. That's what um, my friend Eric has said on Instagram and I totally agree. It looks like it is dripping nectar. You have to um, be aware of that if you keep your Hoya plants inside, that if they bloom for you, the nectar um, will possibly get on your floor or on whatever is below the flowers. So just be aware of that. But they're just absolutely so beautiful. I think the Hoya Pachaclata comes in two different colored blooms. I got lucky and I got the reddish color, which I guess is a little more rare. And then also you can get the flowers that have more of a buttery yellow center in the flower. And I also love the shape of the leaves on Hoya Pachaclata and they're really thick and succulent like. I also have my Hoya Macrophilia pot of gold outside. I have noticed a few new leaves have grown, but unfortunately a lot of them are like a solid green color. So I probably am going to remove this vine because all of the leaves on this vine are solid. I might propagate it and make it become its own plant because I still do think it's a very beautiful type of leaf. It just doesn't have that variegation. And if you have a plant that is losing its variegation, it will take over because it grows way faster than the variegated leaves. So I would recommend removing any vines that are just solid green. Over here, um, this is a Hoya that I ordered from Thailand. I believe it's pronounced Hoya rotundiflora. I might be pronouncing that wrong. It's the square shape leaf Hoya, but the leaves are very unique. It's really, really adorable. It's honestly one of my favorite Hoyas that I have in my collection. I've never seen it sold in the US, um, only um, from like Thailand, and it's more of a rare type of Hoya, and it's very, very beautiful. It's one of those Hoyas that even if it doesn't bloom, I really won't mind, because I just really love the, the look of just the leaves, and it just is a really, really cute plant. My variegated Hoya Carii has done really well outside. I had it inside for about a year and a half and every time it would grow a new leaf it would eventually die and fall off and out here you can see these leaves that have more of the green variegation. Those are the new leaves and then it will fade to more of the creamy white color. So there has been a lot of new growth since it's been outside which I'm really happy about. This is my Hoya Royal Hawaiian Purple, and a lot of the new growth looks tie-dye, which I think is really cool. And it's an absolutely beautiful plant. It has grown really well out here. It really enjoys the con these conditions on my deck. On the floor of my deck, I have a lot of plants that are just kind of growing wild. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you individual plants, considering they're all kind of growing and vining. But I do have a Hoya Sweet Scent, Hoya Melufluwa, and I also have another Hoya, I'm forgetting the name, it's right in the center of the frame right now. I'll put the name on the screen if, I, if I'm able to find out its actual name. But they are all doing really well out here, they're growing like weeds, so I'm really happy with their growth now that I put them on the deck. And then behind these Hoyas, I have my three propagation boxes. I'm just gonna quickly take you through some of them. Um, I ordered from Thailand a few months ago with my two friends and I got about six Hoyas from there and they all have survived. If you do order from Thailand or anywhere abroad, it is normal for it, the plants to lose some of their leaves because they do go through like a, a shock period. So let me just take you over there and I'll show you some of those plants. This is the first box that I have. Um, so I do forget the names of a lot of these Hoyas. Um, I'll put them on the screen um, just so you guys know. Um, but I really love this, this type of Hoya because of the veining in the leaves. 
and I had to split him apart in two since this guy for some reason I had to propagate the smaller guy I honestly forget why but I just have them elevated with this little trellis to keep the leaves off of the the ground of the box because I don't want anything to get moldy or create any problems and then this guy is Hoya Claudata I believe and it's really really cute when it goes into bloom the flowers are really fuzzy and this guy has given me a lot of trouble I've lost probably more than half of the leaves on this plant so I'm really hoping this will pull through and I'll like, be able to keep it alive but I'm not sure if that's gonna that's gonna happen and then in this box I have three other types of Hoya um, this is Hoya Pachaclata new moon so it has that really beautiful variegation um, and the leaves are very very large larger than I expected when I ordered it next to that this is Hoya Australis variegata it is different than Hoya Lisa it does look really similar but um, this Hoya actually has thicker leaves and the leaves have like a velvet feeling to them they're a little bit fuzzy so this is absolutely beautiful it's one of my favorite Hoyas in my collection and you can see right there at the top there's two new leaves and a new um, vine growing and this guy also struggled a lot I had to cut him back you can see where that new growth is I had to chop that back and um, it had some kind of a black mold on it I think I'm not really sure what it was but at the moment it's doing really well this is a really interesting Hoya um, the leaves are really tiny and the edges of the leaves are kind of frilly I honestly forget the name of this one as well and this guy lost many many leaves um, it's really delicate I honestly don't have much hope for it during the winter here I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep the humidity high enough inside I also have noticed a lot of new growth on this um, Hoya since it has started to do a lot better but it's really pretty at the moment so I'm just going to enjoy it while I have it and I, I hope I can keep it alive and the flowers when it does bloom are really sweet they're like a orangey color and then over here in the corner we just have another one of those Hoyas with the veining I guess I um, propagated it once again so those are all the Hoyas that I ordered from Thailand I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my plants that are just um, doing pretty well on my porch. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!